Hello, everyone. My name is Yuan Lu. I'm assistant professor of cardiology at Yale School of Medicine and an executive associate editor at Jack. It's a pleasure to be here today to talk about our recent study published in Jack. High blood pressure is a major health concern, especially for older adults. Our research aimed to answer an important question. What is the optimal blood pressure level for people age 80 and above who are on antihypertensive medication? Is lower always better? I'm excited to share our finding and what they mean for patients and doctors. So what is the motivation of the study? We know that high blood pressure increased the risk of heart disease and stroke, but the best way to manage it in very elderly adults remain unclear. The key question is, should blood pressure be lower aggressively or is more moderate approach safer? Some studies suggest that lowering blood pressure too much might actually be harmful in older adults, leading uncertainty among doctors about the best treatment strategy. One major challenge is that the lack of strong evidence for this group. Most clinical trials on blood pressure treatment have either excluded people 80 and above, or they failed to analyze them separately, or did not compare different treatment intensity directly. Therefore, while current guidelines lean towards more aggressive blood pressure control, they lack solid data to support this approach in the very elderly patient. To address this gap, our study used data from a large national health survey in the U.S. to provide some insights into the optimal blood pressure level about patient 80 and above. So specifically, we analyzed data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, also called NHANES, is a large U.S. national representative study that collects health data from thousands of people. We focus on 1,593 adults age 80 and older who are also taking antihypertensive medication and track their health outcome for an average 6.7 years. We divide them into three groups based on their blood pressure level, below 130, 130 to 160, and above 160. Then we compare their risk of dying from heart disease and stroke to see which blood pressure range uh, was safest. So what do we find? We found that people with blood pressure below 130 millimeters per mercury has a lower risk of dying from heart disease and stroke compared with those with higher blood pressure. Blood pressure above 145 was linked to a higher risk of heart-related death. This finding remained true even after we adjust for multiple health conditions uh, and demographic information, including frailty. What are the implications of the finding? Oh, uh, well, I think that our study suggests that treating high blood pressure aggressively in adult 80 and above may be beneficial as a systolic blood pressure below 130 is associated with lower cardiovascular risk. However, we must know that treatment decisions should still be personalized for failed individuals and those with multiple health conditions, a slightly higher blood pressure target may be safer. Overall, this finding provides important evidence supporting the guideline for intensive blood pressure management for the elderly. Nonetheless, this is the, just the first step of the study. Um, we hope that for future direction, there will be more clinical trial and observational studies focused specifically on people 80 and above. For example, future research can study the long-term effect of intensive blood pressure control in this age group and also provide potential evidence on side effects of, of very low blood pressure, such as dizziness, falls, and cognitive decline. They can also consider individual differences in treatment, including frailty and medication types. And as technology become more and more common nowadays, um, there's opportunity to use newer blood pressure monitoring techniques to track how blood pressure change over time and how they impact health. That's all. Thank you for listening.